interiors, um, you, it's the same as the bottom for the 12 o'clock position. Okay, same mantra, same everything. It's gonna be canine away, surface away, you're gonna sit at 12 o'clock, okay? Now with the anteriors, you're gonna do a combination of internal and external fulcrum. When you're doing the straight facials, you can internally fulcrum the whole section, okay? So if I was to start over here on canine away, you can fulcrum on the two. Some will want to, it's more comfortable to fulcrum externally. Some may want to fulcrum internally. I've got a little bit of a bend in my wrist here. So to me, this is more comfortable. My shoulder is down, okay? So if you're feeling bunched up and this doesn't feel comfortable, and the patient may be a little bit too high for me, but. Um, okay, so again, same thing. I'm gonna start, it's always the outside edge, always the outside edge on the anteriors, okay? It adapts better, you can get down into the pocket better. So I'm feeling, I'm gonna pivot and pivot again. So I'm sh just adjusting my fulcrum a little bit. I'm sliding along the patient's, what it would be their lip and chin, okay, um, with my fulcrum to do my pivots, okay? And I have a subtle little movement with my wrist, okay? If we were doing finger pull, it'd look like this. So we don't wanna see this, where your wrist isn't moving at all, but you can see that my wrist is subtly pushing that down, okay? And I'm gonna come out here. Pivoting, my pivoting, I'm rolling. So I'm kind of lifting my wrist up. So I've, I'm down, my wrist is down here. My first pivot, I lift my, lift my wrist up. My second pivot, I lift it up just a little bit more. Okay, so it's more in the wrist and the roll. Okay, so I'm gonna drop my wrist a little bit here to do the line angle. Now I lift my wrist up, you see that? That's my first pivot. And then the second pivot is lifting my wrist up just a tiny bit more. So then again, I'm gonna scooch a little bit, drop to my wrist, lift my wrist up, first pivot, first pivot again, okay, or second pivot. So drop my wrist, line angle, lift my wrist up, pivot and pivot, okay? Drop my wrist, and I might even have my patient lean away from me a little bit. Pivot, lift my wrist, and pivot again. Now, when you go in to do the linguals, so you're gonna do canine away, surface away, then you're gonna come in, you're gonna flip your instrument and jump the fence, get your mirror. For the three teeth closest to you, you're gonna fulcrum internally, okay? You will fulcrum internally, so you're gonna fulcrum on the canine, okay? So I'm setting the tip, and I'm lifting my wrist and elbow a little bit to do my pivots, okay? Then I move my whole fulcrum over to the next tooth. You wanna be one tooth away from where you're fulcruming or where you're exploring, okay? Don't leave your, your finger on the canine and try to stretch, all right? So move your fulcrum over, okay? I'm gonna set the tip on the lateral, pivot. I'm lifting my wrist in the pivots, very subtle. So I've dropped my wrist now to do the line angle, I'm lifting my wrist up, standing up on my fulcrum. Do you see how I'm standing up on my fulcrum when I do this? I'm not laying down, okay? You can't lay down on your fulcrum on the anteriors. You have to be up on the tip of your finger. And you can see that my instrument, I'm gonna show you on this guy, this way. You see my instrument is laying up and over the tooth, okay? It's not straight up and down like this. And it's not laying down like this, okay? This you can't get down into the pocket, but you want it just slightly up and over that cusp. That's what it should look like. Your terminal shank is just kind of up and over that incisal edge. See that? And then you can slide right down that tooth very nicely, all right? But if you're up like this, you're gonna miss calculus. Okay, so you don't want the terminal shank straight up and down. You want the terminal shank just slightly up and over that, that mm -hmm. cusp or that um, <clears throat> incisal edge, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll go back to the lingual. Now, I'm at the midline. If I try to do, if I try to fulcrum tooth number eight, I can't see my mirror. I'm starting to be blocked by my fingers in the mirror. So it's an automatic natural feeling for me to want to fulcrum externally. Okay, so the three teeth away from me, I'm gonna fulcrum externally. And it's the same pivot. I'm just gonna kind of lift up my wrist. I might shift a little bit this way because my wrist is bending, okay, and it feels a little awkward. So I might shift just a little bit more to the 11 and lifting up my wrist. Okay, and this is gonna be, this is gonna be a little bit difficult for you, for new clinicians to do the three teeth away with the external fulcrum. You don't feel as stable, but you will with practice get it, okay? All right, now, we don't shift necessarily to the eight o'clock. You can shift to the eight o'clock to do the straight facials, okay? But you cannot do the eight o'clock 
from the linguals because your body is really contorted and twisted and you're gonna feel it in your hip and your shoulder, all right? But if you want, you can sit at the eight o'clock to do canine toward, surface toward, facials only, okay? Does that make sense to everybody? So I can sit here because this is perfectly comfortable. I'm gonna do an external fulcrumine, so I'm setting the tip. I'm dropping my wrist a little bit, very subtly dropping my wrist to do those pivots. I lift up on my wrist to do the line angle. I'm dropping my wrist to do my pivots, okay? Up on my wrist to do the line angle, dropping my wrist, pivot one, pivot two. Do you see where the terminal shank is? It's up and over that cusp, right? I'm not like this, okay? I have it up and I'm not like this, all right? So it's just kind of just a little bit up and over. I have pressure in my thumb. I have a good solid fulcrum. If you're sliding off the tooth, it means your fulcrum's not solid. Your fulcrum is floating, okay? You cannot have a floating fulcrum. You have to have pressure on your patient's chin or tooth, okay? That we can tell when you're flopping all over the tooth that your fulcrum is not solid and stable, all right? So it's gotta be solid and stable. Now, you can do it that way, eight o'clock, all facial services, or you can kind of shift to the 10 o'clock Okay, you can shift to the 10 o'clock and do the same thing. Okay. So I'm sitting more at the 10 o'clock position, same thing, drop my wrist, pivot, okay? So my wrist is up, dropping it, shifting my fulcrum a little bit, all right? So those are the two ways. But to do the uh, linguals, canine towards, surface toward, you have to sit at the 10-11. Okay, and you're gonna get your mirror in there. And again, you're gonna fulcrum on the three teeth towards you. So I'm fulcruming on the three teeth towards me. I set the tip, I lift my wrist, and pivot, pivot, okay? So I set the tip, lift my wrist, pivot, pivot. Now I can't see, okay? Because now I'm on going to eight, tooth number eight, and I can't see. So now I'm gonna automatically want to shift down to the external fulcrum. Same thing, I'm setting the tip, lifting my wrist, pivot, pivot. Setting the tip, lifting my wrist, pivot, pivot, okay? Pivot, pivot by lifting my wrist, okay? So again, that's the one odd thing with the maxilla is canine toward, surface toward linguals. You have to be at the 1011, okay? Otherwise, uh, you're gonna be just completely contorted doing that. And I'm very relaxed and it's a natural position for me to do it here. I would be leaning way over. I mean, it's just, it's very awkward. Okay, I can't see very well, my mirror. And if I did this with my mirror, oh man, I can see, feel the total strain in my shoulder. I mean, it's just a big strain and, and a big strain in my hip. So get into a neutral position, okay, to do the linguals on the maxilla.